Hi everyone, this is Art again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to search your class schedule on Wingspan. The purpose of searching the class schedule is to find the courses that you're interested in taking during the upcoming semester or intersession. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the class schedule and figure out what we can learn from the information it shows us. So the first thing we want to do, as always, is go to citruscollege.edu. And from citruscollege.edu, we will find the Wingspan link. Click the Wingspan link, and it'll take us to this page. And here, normally, you would go to Wingspan login. However, because we're looking at the class schedule today, we could actually just go directly there by clicking this link. Now, as you can see, there are several options here that you could use to narrow down your search for the classes you're looking for. Right now, we are able to see the fall and summer semesters. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it for fall 2015. And as you can see, you can narrow down the search. However, today, we're going to want to see most of the options. So let's go ahead and click the search button and see our results. This list is showing me every subject available at Citrus College. Now, before I go ahead and show you what all of these things mean, let's go back and select a subject so we can see how it narrows down the results. So today, we're going to go ahead and look for a history class. Now, let's say I want to study history of the United States since 1877. So there's going to be a few things that are really important to me when creating my schedule. And as more and more students start to fill up these courses, we're going to notice that these three numbers are going to start changing. The first column of these three numbers is capacity. That means that in, say, this first option here, there are only 41 seats available to students. The second column here shows how many seats have been taken. The last column shows the remaining amount of seats available. As the middle number goes up, the third number goes down. And of course, capacity never changes because that is the maximum amount of seats in the class. So. Now that we know that seats are available in the classes that we're looking for, we have options to choose from. And those options include what professor we take the course with and the dates and times that the classes meet. Now, to the left of the meeting time, we see this class meets Monday, Wednesday from 8.20 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. On the next row down, we can see that this class also meets on Monday and Wednesday. However, the meeting time is at 1.05 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Now we see in the next row down after that, we have Tuesday, and then we have R, which in fact means Thursday. So, in the third row, the class meets Tuesday and Thursday from 8.20 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. There are 41 seats maximum. At the moment, zero have been taken, so there are still 41 remaining. And the instructor is Gene Culp. As you can see in this column, we have CRN. CRN stands for Class Registration Number. And every one of your class registration numbers will be five digits. These are the numbers that you're going to need to input in the registration section of Wingspan. If you click on the CRN number for any one of these sections, you will get a little bit more information about the course. With this information, it'll let you know if there are any prerequisites, co-requisites, and a few small details about what the class entails. So that's about it for reading the Citrus College class schedule. Remember to use this tool to create a schedule for yourself. Again, I hope this video was informative and helpful. For more how-to videos, please visit our page on YouTube. And once again, thank you for choosing Citrus College.